So one of the best examples, I think, in literature that everybody plays, that really gives the pianist a workout in terms of pedaling, workout in general, but especially in terms of pedaling, is the opening to this Pathetique Sonata by Beethoven. Um, it's really quite difficult, not only interpretation-wise, but also in terms of pedaling. You have to decide how much pedal you're going to use, is it half pedal, quarter pedal, full pedal? And you also have to worry and listen for the release between things. You've got to decide, you know, how slowly are you releasing your foot? Is it abrupt? Is it really slowly over time? Are you going to have to kind of flutter it a little bit? If you're trying to do a scale passage, there's a bunch of flourishes and scales that are virtuosic here. And you may not want them to be completely dry, meaning no pedal. And you certainly don't want them to be super blurry with total pedals. So it has to be somewhere in between. And more importantly, the sonata uh, deals with the concept of forte piano. And forte piano is a specific technique, not just physically with your hands, but with your foot. It needs a very, uh, has a very complex timing between the hands and the feet to really pull it off. So I will be showing some video of what's happening with my foot, but essentially you're dealing with the escapement. And when we play a note on the piano, the damper inside lifts up so that the string can vibrate. And then when you let go of the key, the damper comes down and shuts the string off and keeps it from vibrating with the felt. So, we all know this, but what you're going to play with here is that you'll play the chord, the opening chord is a C minor chord. I don't know if you heard it, but there was a little cutoff because I used a little pedal. So here we go. The trick is, is not to do an absolute double attack, right? But that's kind of what you're doing. You're actually going to attack one and a half. And you're going to hold the keys down just enough to keep that damper from coming down and shutting the sound off. So that's what's happening with the hands. That time I did it without any pedal in. Well, because I'm holding the keys down physically, but I didn't re-strike it. I just came down and then I kind of stopped in the middle on the, re on the re rebound, okay? With the pedal, it adds even more because we get more resonance when the pedal's down and then when the pedal changes, it cuts the sound in half, which is what Beethoven really wanted. Yes, we play forte and it follows with the piano, but that's just only half of it. The pedal's involved. say pedal because then it will overlap the sound that it's creating. And we need to release the pedal slowly.
messing around with when the release was slow and then maybe when the release was faster like when I did. But I wanted that staccato to be a little more urgent. Then I cut it off a little bit sooner. On this scale, I had a little pedal in the beginning. And I kind of lifted it to the point where I really didn't have any pedal on at the very end of it. Because I wanted total clearance for the next thing. Okay. So the release, uh, but a lot of it is happening in the hands. The pedal, what's happening with the pedal mechanism on the forte piano is that the pedal goes down when you strike the chord and then once you're holding it then your foot does a little and it has to happen all very quickly right it's like strike half pedal, right strike half pedal strike half pedal right it's got to be just in the right amount of time and you'll actually be able to if you're doing the hand part right you'll actually be able to play with that amount of time. You'll actually have more time to do the pedal. If your hand has done a good job and is holding the notes, you heard how I was able to sustain it without pedal by just holding the keys down halfway. So if you did a really good job with your hands, you'll have lots of time to do the pedal. You could even go slow with the pedal in that spot, as long as you had a good attack. And of course, that's going to take a lot of practice. So going on to this next part, you're definitely pedaling for right hand in the kind of sorrowful, achy part of the theme. And then in the stormy chord theme, you're definitely pedaling for the harmony. So it's switching back and forth. Especially shedding light on the forte piano and uh, and I'm gonna now go to some video of the foot and what the foot is doing so that you can kind of see you'll hear the sound and you can kind of see what I'm doing with my hands as well Thank you. 
next section, the Allegro con brio. Uh, this is a section that is constantly played too loud and with too much pedal. So I was using about quarter pedal there and keeping it on the down low. I know I've got a long way to go in this piece and there's going to be some grand fortissimos, but this isn't the spot to give it all away on. So that's a good example, not only a forte piano in this opening section, but slow releases, middle releases, fast releases, fluttering releases, like on that chromatic scale at the end, uh, pedaling for melody, pedaling for harmony, uh, and, then, and then the quarter pedal. All in the same, oh, how many bars here? 11 or 20 bars. You had to do all those changes with pedal and and not to mention dynamics and all the right notes <laughs> all the other technical things so it really is i think probably the most difficult part of that piece the rest of the piece is not as difficult but this beginning um, really makes or breaks a student's performance